I bet you're thinking, God, that place must stink. And I will tell you that you are correct. Hi, my name is Michelle, and you're probably wondering what you're doing here today. I just wanted to give you an update about what's been going on in my life. There was originally a clip in here that I just didn't like, so here's editing Michelle to tell you what's been going on. I have been in isolation now for 237 days. Um, it's been 63 days since the last video upload. All of the footage you are about to see was recorded sometime in late September, and it's of course now early November. I'm just now getting around to editing it. I don't know why I waited almost an entire month to do so. More than an entire month, because if it had been just an entire month, it would have been up at the end of October. Anyway, let's send you over to Couch Michelle. Take it away. So this is it. I moved my furniture. As you saw before, it was absolutely crowded in here and it was really messy. It's still pretty crowded in here, but it's less messy to me. Um, I finally moved the curtain. It's not hanging in front of me, in front of the couch anymore. You know, the only thing I didn't move is the couch. I moved the TV right here. It was originally on the wall over there. And I had a big pile of junk that was right here that was like my sewing stuff that I just hadn't moved to the back room. And instead I have this table here now so I can put my drinks and stuff on it rather than putting my drinks on my sewing bin. I also have a basket of blankets and pillows because as you see I really like pillows and blankets on my couch. I don't have enough. I need more. It needs to be all pillows. Uh, and then I think I'll eventually be happy if it's all pillows. So yeah, that's what I did in here. It's a lot, a lot less cluttered and I really like it. It's really cozy too. And if you notice, I got some mood lights and I really love them. They make me feel like I'm in like a cave or in a really cool club that I probably shouldn't be in. Before, if you remember, it was all fairy lights. There's still some hanging up here. I just haven't taken them down yet, but I just took the ones that are around the rest of the room and just wrapped them around in the kitchen, which I'm not gonna show you because that's not a room that I was doing. And so it's now really bright in there, which is nice. So yeah, let's go see a different space. So this is the other space that I move things around in. Before, this desk that's right here was here, this desk that is here was here, and then the TV was over there with the bookcase next to it. And it was just really crowded. I felt really cramped. I thought it was like a cool workspace, but it was just so crowded. So I just needed to move it. And so what I've done is I've got this bookcase here, the desk here, and it's nice and open so I can like look out into the room even though that's not really important. Over here's like my bookshelf and as you see there's like remnants of fairy lights on here. But anyway, that's my updated room. I didn't show you any of the cleaning or anything and I haven't shown you the other side of the room that's actually the most messy because it has like a bunch of donation items and stuff that I just kind of need to get rid of. I know Goodwill is accepting items but I don't, I, I just don't feel comfortable going places still so they just are gonna hang out. A little longer but anyway let's go to the next segment i know i said i wasn't going to show you the kitchen but we need to talk about my bedroom let's do this curtain right here i gotta go through the curtain but i don't have anything set up so <laughs> i'll see you on the other side of the curtain then so this is my bedroom and i'm just showing you a small portion of it which is just this little corner of my bed my bed used to be on the other wall over there, but my neighbor who used to live there would sit in that corner and smoke and there's a crack in the wall so it would just come in. So I moved my bed like middle of the night one night so I wouldn't be sitting in his cigarette smoke anymore. Which then came to another problem is that people moved in over into this apartment and somehow this wall here, which is connected to my bathroom, connects to their bathroom as well. And they just redid that bathroom when the previous tenants moved out. So I don't understand how smell is getting in. Like there shouldn't be any cracks. They should have filled them all. But whatever smells are in their apartment come into mine. So I want to move my bed back to the other wall. And conveniently, just out of frame behind you, you can't see it, is my big mess the thing that i really need to take care of and all of that can go into the closet that it is sitting in front of uh, but i can't access the closet because all of this stuff is sitting in front of the closet and i also have to organize the closet which then 
is a new set of problems that I can't move this stuff until the closet is clean, but I don't, I can't get to the closet, and I don't want to clean the closet, because that means I have to go through everything in the closet, and go through the paper boxes, and go through the suitcases, and, and try to find a way to organize the blankets. And so it's just a kind of a mess right now. And then of course I have the other closet too, which I want to put like the fan, and there's a dryer at the end of the bed, and I want to be able to put that in that closet, but the closet that's directly behind the camera, uh, it's full of wasteland items, which I have a lot of. The whole closet is filled with camping supplies and wasteland stuff, but I haven't gone through it in a very long time, and so it's very unorganized, very messy. There's just a lot of stuff that I don't need in there, and so I need to go through that too, and I don't want to because I haven't been able to go to an event this year, feeling very defeated, um, and so I don't want to do that either, but I need to do it. So I learned about this really cool technique on Twitter, and it is a way to gamify things so that you will continue to do them or so that you can do them and it involves taking a time lapse of you cleaning and I think that's a really cool idea and I want to give it a try because it serves two purposes it has somebody watching watching you clean which makes you want to clean more it, if you ever come over my house I will just start cleaning it's a completely impulsive action. I don't know why, but the minute somebody comes to my house, they're looking at me, I go, ooh, ooh, I gotta start cleaning. So I do. It's a, it's a different type of mess completely that I am uh, when it comes to this stuff. And so that's one thing that I think that will help. And then at the end, I'll also have a video I can watch to see the process of how I cleaned and how it went. But yeah, this is my room. I think once I move my bed, and get the clutter from in front of the closet door to right where I am currently, I'll be able to access the closet door, clean it out, and reorganize it so things can go in there, and then have more floor space, more room back, which then I'll have to, I have to get a rug then. I already have a rug, it's a small rug though, but I'll have to get a bigger rug because the room will echo a lot, and I don't, I don't like that. I'm just jabbering now, so let's, Let's do something else. Let's go. Last time I plugged Unis Honest and I'm still watching them. Time's running out. There's never enough time. That's that's what life is. There's just never enough time. Anyway, I've been like watching a lot of Among Us streams on Twitch and it's kind of reconnecting me to a lot of stream like not streamers, but like YouTubers that quit YouTube and have gone to streaming and it's kind of reconnecting me to them and introducing me to some new ones that are really, really cool. So I'm like watching Shovel. I'm back watching Modest Cube. His name's Trevor. He's really fun. And Crank Game Plays, of course. And Chris Melberger. You gotta join the Burger Shack. Like, that's, he runs like the chill stream, I think. Oh, Gerbigli too. Brian is a lot of fun. Uh, really cool guy, really cool chat. Uh, really, really awesome people, really positive place. So if you're looking for a place to go, Gerbigli. Shovel too. Really positive place. But Among Us streams, I've been watching a lot of them. And I've been re reintroduced to Corpse Husband, who I I'd never knew about until the Faceless YouTuber video that Anthony Padilla did for his I Spent a Day With. And his voice is so deep. And it, you're just like, first time you hear it, everybody's just like, what? Um, and so he's been really fun to watch. Um, he's a kind of a funny guy and he is interesting as well. Like just interest, an interesting character as most people on the internet are. They're pretty interesting. <laughs> There's a lot of boring people too. I'm, pro I'm one of them. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking about doing. I'm thinking, I'm, I'm thinking about making boring content, you know? Just sit around and be like, let's study together guys. And then you just hear my pencil scratching on the paper. Anyway. That's not what we're talking about. But yeah, his, uh, he does re horror story readings um, for the most part. So if you write and you want him to read one, send it to his page. I'll link it in the description. But you should definitely give him a listen. Um, hopefully he gets into streaming. He said he had a computer issue. And so hopefully we will be getting Corpse Husband streams. He's faceless too, so it's even better because he's just voice and game and you don't have to worry about face cam or anything, which is nice. It's nice. Sometimes it's fun to see like the streamer's reaction to what's happening, but sometimes it's more fun to like imagine it and have listen to them express it with their voice, if that makes sense. And he does that really well, I think. Let's move on to something else, right? I've talked about this long enough. It's, it's all gonna get cut down to like a minute anyway. Let me just get in here and tell you some secrets really quick. I don't really have any good secrets. I just wanna tell you that I'm proud of you and you're doing really great. Whenever you're watching this, I'm 
recognize you if you're a stranger. It's nice to meet you. Leave a comment. Tell me, like, what's the best thing that's happened to you today? It could be, it could be like you ate a toaster strudel. Like, I still think that's great. Let's, let's like bump each other up, you know? It's, it's good to be here this close to you telling you secrets. Yeah, okay. Okay, good night. I love you. I, I hope you have, you have a good day. Okay, bye. Pitiful little chum. Look at him. Mew mew. Hey, love. Hey, Lena. She's so perked up. Madeline's on the floor right there. It's Madeline, but. When I'm over here, and you're over there. Oh, look how slimy my skin is. My dog is licking his balls, and he's so loud about it. This is the ice cream trucks going out outside, and you can probably hear it, but I don't want to stop. My battery's gonna die. This is getting really long-winded anyway. It's like six minutes. I'm gonna have to cut most of it out. I just, I just make cringe. That's what I like to do. You know, be, be, be positive, because... In person, I don't act that way. I'm not all lovey-dovey in person. I'm only that way on the internet because I'm shy about how I feel. Okay, yeah, anyway, bye.